like flashings like a flirty, like hmm, 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 hmm. This was just hmm. It is not happening. I'm your host, Ari Shapir, and tonight, it's all stories about romance. Yeah. I fucking love them. You'll love them, too. Let's give it up for Mr. Kyle Kinane, everybody. This story takes place um, a little over a decade ago. It was right before I moved to Los Angeles. I was kind of making my rounds with friends, so <clears throat> talking to a buddy, and he's like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, hey, man, I'm leaving soon, so if you got any time to get together, he's like, well, I'm having a birthday party with some coworkers. Uh, come on out, just ha you know, hang out with the coworkers, have a drink, say bye before you split town. So I did that. <clears throat> I met him at a bar called Dirty Nellies, because God knows there's not enough Irish bars called Dirty Nellies in the world. <laughs> so I go, I meet up with my buddy, I get there, my buddy's day job, uh, I know I'm from, we played in bands, so it's like weird, it's like seeing like, like old punk rock buddy, but his day job, he taught uh, severely developmentally disabled kids, and that was, that was his day job, and that's a, that's a hard job, I could only, I, I couldn't even put myself in the shoes of the people that do that job, like a deal with, you know, severely developmentally disabled, and they're, and they're there, and I, I got to the bar, and it was all teachers from this school, and they all, they were drinking because they needed to drink, and they, dr and they had the looks on their faces like like Vietnam veterans have softer looks on their faces than the people that teach like the special ed that they taught like I mean like Gigi Allen can walk around with shit smeared on him but he knows where that shit came from it came from his own ass fuck Gigi Allen all right talk to a teacher of developmentally disabled kids like yeah I got shit on me I don't know where it came from my back's turned and I don't have another shirt Get some more shots. That's who, was, that's who was drinking at the bar that day. And, and, and God bless them for doing that. You know, for little to no pay that they're doing that job. And they're all just, fuck, drink. There wasn't even beers. It was just shots. You can clap. Yeah, applaud for it. Yeah. They bust their ass. And somebody's doing that. Thank God that they're doing that. But they drank like they did that job. There was, like I said, there was no, there was no buffer rounds. There'd just be a plate of shots, and they're like, "Well, we're gonna wait for the beers. We're not drinking beers, pussy. Just drink your shots, <laughs> plural. We each get three. Okay. So we're just, we're just drinking, just blah. Like, like I, I got there. The day, it's still daylight. There's school teachers. They were done at four. It's four thirty, and they're just blah. And, uh, you know, as the shots are going in, there's, you know, cavorting and carousing, you know, that's it. You, do the, you know, you deal with that trauma every day. You release it however you can. So all the teachers, they're mingling, getting together, who's talking to who. And now I'm left in a side room with a, with a gal. And there wasn't even really any flirting. There was just some talking. And then, she, well, she, did, she was flirting with me. She started flirting. Her way of flirting was to... She just flashed me with a, with a, just a, with, with, with a totally ineffected face. That's so off-putting. <laughs> like flashings, like a flirty, like, hmm, 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 hmm. This was just, hmm. <laughs> and then she just left her shirt up. I, maybe she wasn't even flashing. Maybe she was just airing out her boobs. I don't know. But she was like, shirt was up, and she'd look at me, and then she'd like start doing something else. Like, I feel like having a cigarette. And she'd dig through her purse like, put your boobs, put your boobs away. This is a bar and grill, ma'am. And it is almost dinner time. So that was the, that was the flirting. That was it. That was me, I, well, I guess, me and you. 
<laughs> unless I'm reading these, unless these messages are getting mixed, unless the airwaves are getting scrambled, I think we're flirting. So your shirt's been up for 20 minutes, and I've just been looking at him. So then uh, she goes, uh, let's go to my car. That was it. That was no kissing, no necking, as the young folks like to call it. No old-fashioned necking. Let's go to my car. Okay. So I'd been having all the shots, too. I'd been drinking like a teacher of developmentally disabled people. I'm not built for that, so I was pretty shithoused. <laughs> so we walk out, and her car's right there, in front of the door. She was the first one at the bar. <laughs> so we just, we get in her car. And, uh, okay, what are we gonna do? Chit-chat? Get to know each other? No, nope. fellatio. <laughs> just like that, just like, Oh, I guess I'll get in here. What is this, like an 89, 88? What is, oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> just, just right, just there. And yeah, I don't, because it's, like I said, it's still daylight. There are, <laughs> there are people going in to get meals. <laughs> and I'm also drunk, so I'm like, part of me is like, fuck, uh, but another part is like, stop, stop it! There's a children's section of the menu for this place. Knock it off. And uh, so, so, so I'm like, we should, we should go, we should go around the corner or something. And she's like, ugh. She was disgusted by the idea of privacy. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> so. Uh, fires up the car, and we uh, pull out. I don't know how much shit we ran into, but just, just a real, just bumper bold. <laughs> we find a parking spot or a yard or something. And, uh, <laughs> and there's just, so there's some, like, messing around but nothing, and I'm like, I don't, this shouldn't happen. Like, it's, it's, it's a mixed emotion to be like, am I taking advantage of you? While also being like, stop, stop touching, stop. No, to get, no, get up, you get out of there. And, but then I feel like, oh, I really shouldn't. And um, then she's like, well, I'm just gonna drive home. And that can't happen. At this moment, she's a threat. She's a threat to the community. <laughs> and that's when I realize that just, out of pure civic responsibility, <laughs> I have to have sex with this woman. <laughs> to keep the streets safe for the kids. <laughs> and, uh, all right, if, if, if keeping you off the, the roadways for a few more minutes, Saves a life. There we go. And they, we were both just dipping in and out of consciousness through the whole thing. There's nothing, I mean, I don't care how many, you know, Bruce Springsteen, Bob Seger tunes you hear, like, well, we had sex in the car. It was fumbly, but it was hot and sweet and innocent. It sucks. No, it sucks. It's just shitty, and you're trying to have sex, and there's just a gear shift that's almost poking you in the ass, and party is like, maybe, and you're like, no, don't. Only out of the fact that what if you get excited bumping into neutral, now you're in the traffic. So, and then you got one knee in the fucking change cup and the other one in the ashtray and nothing's hot about it. It's just clumsy and shitty and maybe you come and maybe you fall asleep and who knows what happens. Either way, we both wake up from a nap. And, Both pantsless, just waking up from a nap, pants, both just daffy ducking right in the front seat there. <laughs> you know, now that we were all, whatever, whatever we built up to has, has happened. So how do we, what do you, what do you do? Small talk, I guess. So it's like, <laughs> so I'm moving to California soon. <laughs> 
Jesus goes, my kids live in California. <laughs> and then she took out a picture of her kids. Her kids were as old as I was. Like, I'm thinking kids, like kids. Like, because we're having sex. So your kids are like, no, your kids are my, oh my God, how many? Jeez, you got hot kids, lady. <laughs> oh, I just banged the mom of some hot kids. <laughs> so that was the end of that effort. Moving to California. Look at my hot kids. All right, dead end. Still sitting there, it's rude to leave, you know? Plus, who's still drunk? I don't know. And uh, so I'm looking to see a cassette tape laying there. I'm like, oh, all right, let's look at that. Oh, Journey, thank God. <laughs> Everybody likes Journey. And how metaphoric, because what has this evening been? <laughs> <laughs> she takes it out of my hand. This, now she gets mean. She takes it out of my hand. She's like, it's not Journey, I taped over it. Oh, no. <laughs> With what, a slightly better band? Nope, puts it in the cassette deck. Christian rock music. Oh, mm, mm. Which she promptly starts singing along to because she realized she sinned. So I thought I was gonna just, I thought I was gonna not stop believing. Now I don't believe in anything. So I still don't want to leave. It still seems rude to leave. Like, oh, maybe she just likes the chord progressions. <laughs> so I was like, oh, it's not, it's not Journey, for sure. It's Christian, you're Christian. And uh, somehow we just leapt logic to where uh, she just, forgetting that she believed in Jesus, uh, decided to get real upset and say, it's all your fault because the white man stole my people's land. <laughs> at no point did we discuss ethnicity at all <laughs> in the evening. And um, I'm gonna go. <laughs> that is kind of a good argument against a white guy. It was just. You stole my people's land. You got, you got me. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Did we wear a condom? <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to go. And um, I just, uh, yeah, I left. I got out of the car at that point because I realized there was nothing I was going to do that was going to remedy this situation. And uh, I hope she's well. <laughs> There's no uh, cool moral or a sweet little bow on the story. Just, uh, just a yarn about how I stuck my dick where it shouldn't have gone. That's it. So thanks, everybody.